Ha! My husband is not yet back from work. And he's already late. At night. Oh! He will have to explain to me oh, when he comes back to this house. And I will make sure he never repeat this again. What kind of nonsensical and reckless attitude? As long as I remain his wife. Hmm. Can you imagine? At 11.59 p.m. A married man is not yet back to his house. He should pray to his God that he's not cheating on me. Oh. Ha! Because, hmm... Oh my god, so I passed the night in this girl's house. Babe, why didn't you wake me up to go home? You know, try. Do you know my wife will bury me immediately I get home? Oh, alcohol. Alcohol and side cheeks. I'm finished. Which lie can I lie to my wife to understand that I did cheat on her last night? Die! Oh god. Okay. I know what to do. I think let me call my friend Joel. He might give me a genuine lie that will not make me suspicious. My guy, how far now? Oh my, I did serious trouble. I'm in a serious trouble now. Do you know that I mistakenly passed the night in Jennifer's house? That, that's Jennifer, that girl I met in the bar last week. Yes, I, I passed the night in her house. How manage? Can you fuck up? Know how your wife is ash and jealous. Yet you slept over in that guest house. Has she even called you or texted you? No, she did not even call to me or even text me. That sign alone shows that I am dead once I reached home. So please, what can I do now? Please give me a better lie. That she will not suspect that I slept in another guest house. Okay. You know what? Go to a police station, eh? Tell the police to arrest you. And let the police call your wife to come and bail you. Tell the police to tell her that you fought with someone because the person insulted your wife. So that was the reason you slept inside the police cell last night. Jesus is love! She might believe you and even love you more. Okay, thank you, my guy. Let me go and look for the nearest police station. I'll call you back. Officer, um, please, you know what, I want you to arrest me right now. Then you will call my wife. Tell her I was involved in a fight last night, so you arrested me and I passed the night in your cell. Hmm, what a generous and patriotic citizen you are. You mean I should arrest you and call your wife to come and bail you? Officer, that is exactly what I want. I just want you to do this so that I can escape my wife's anger. I did something bad last night and this is the only thing that can save me right now. Please, just do it. Mr. Man, consider it done. But your bailing fee is 15,000 Naira. In short, I will give you extra 5k for your breakfast, lunch and dinner. You are doing well. Go make yourself comfortable inside one of those cells. Why I call your wife? Hello. Who is this? Hello, madam. Your husband is in serious trouble. He's in our cell right now. He was involved in a fight last night. You better come and bail him. Be mumu. Officer, what offenses has my loving husband done? He was forced to sleep here. Madam, <laughs> madam, <laughs> now the third time with this, madam. This your husband, where they carry. We are not about to break for somewhere because that person insulted his wife, which is you. Oh my God, honey, you mean you almost took someone's life because of me? Oh, oh, I promise to love you, to love you, and to love you more and more. But honey, can I see the person you actually fought with to see the level of the injury? You gave the person all just because of me. Baby, right now as we are speaking, it's at the emergency unit at the National Hospital. I wonder if we will survive what I did to him. Please, we need, we need to go and pray for him. Too. Let's go home. Let's go and pray for him.